Welcome to Offbeat Look with Camille Johnson on beauty, fashion, and hair. Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get your hair like this. I have it going from a lighter bluish green teal color, fading down to a darker blue. And I'm going to show you how to do that on your own hair. Now before I have this ombre kind of look on my hair, all of my hair was this dark color. So it was like that from root to tip and my roots had grown out about two inches so I decided it was time to redo my roots and while I was redoing my roots I decided it would be cool to do an ombre thing instead of just doing the same dark blue in the roots so in this video I am showing you that I am redoing the roots completely just bleaching it and then coloring it and doing the ombre but if you want to do your hair and you're starting out with just your natural hair color you can still follow all the steps of this tutorial except instead of just bleaching your roots you'd be bleaching your whole head but I'm just going to show you how I did it bleaching my roots and it's basically the same exact process so if you want to learn how to do an ombre from teal to blue or really any color to any other color, keep watching. Okay, let's get rid of these ugly roots. So they're like two inches long since I haven't touched them up in a while and they really need to go. The way I bleach my roots is the same way you can bleach your whole head if you're doing this look from the beginning. So the first step with hair dye is always to wear a crappy shirt so you don't ruin your good one. So let's get changed. This is my hair dye shirt. Fabulous, I know. Okay, so now you need your materials. You need a mixing bowl or any plastic bowl, non-metal, a dye brush, mine's from Sally's, some powder hair bleach, also from Sally's, got this one on sale, yay for saving money. But all bleach like this comes in a bucket with a bag of powder and scoops inside that looks like a bag of cocaine when you pull it out. You'll need developer to mix with the powdered bleach and the volume you need will be based off of how dark your hair is. Mine's essentially black so I use 40 volume developer, but lighter hair should use 30. If you're blonde, then I recommend 20. You need gloves, which I reuse, and hair dye. This is Enrage's Raven Black, which I use to do the dark blue at the ends of my hair because mixing it with conditioner makes it turn blue, and I use Enrage's Twisted Teal to get the lighter blue part of the ombre at my roots. This is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner that I already have in my hair before bleaching it. I just did this to coat my scalp with a bit of protection from the bleach and so I could comb through my hair more easily. It's been in for about 10 hours. Before working with bleach, put your gloves on to protect your hands from burning. I reuse gloves since I dye my hair a lot, so that's why they look like that. Now take a scoop of your powder bleach and put it into the mixing bowl. Do this slowly so the powder doesn't go everywhere, and try to do this in a ventilated area or with the door open so you don't inhale too much. I'm adding another scoop because I know how much to use, but if you don't, it's better to just make less than you need and make another batch later if you need more so you don't waste bleach. Now you want to mix in the developer to activate the bleach. I'm using the Salon Care Volume 40 developer for my hair, and if you check out my blog post for this video that will be linked in the description box below, you can find links and information on all the products shown in this video as well as before and after pics of my hair. You want to add a 1 to 1 ratio of developer to bleach, and then slowly fold the powder and cream together so it doesn't go all up in your face. I use cream developer rather than liquid developer because it's thicker and grips onto hair without dripping as much. After a while, you can start mixing it, making sure that you blend it thoroughly. Now take your hair down, and gosh do I look scary here. Ugh. Anyways, use the pointy side of your mixing brush to part your hair the way you normally do, and then apply bleach to both sides of the part. This is how I usually start because this part of my roots is going to show more than other places, so it's top priority, as well as the outside hairline. After your part, start at the front of your hairline and apply bleach on your roots, and just overlap a bit where your roots end to ensure you get everything. And work your way to the sides of your hairline. I do my hair on my own, so for the back I just take my hand and scoop up some bleach and feel around for where I should put it. You can always use help from a friend, but I prefer to do it that way, and it always works for me. Now that the priority spots are done, use the brush to part your hairline parallel to the first part and add bleach here like you did on both sides of the part before. You can use your brush or your hands, but I usually start out with the brush until I get sick of it and then I just start using my hands. But mostly for the back I do that because I have to use my sense of feel and hands are better for doing the back if you're doing it by yourself. 
Continue parting your hair and adding bleach all along the top and sides of your head until all of those roots are bleached. Here I just added some extra bleach around my hairline to make sure that all of the hair is coated. I used my fingers to push it further back into the roots to make sure those were coated too. I look like Frankenstein here. It's pretty scary. Now I'm just using my hands to do the parts that are harder to see, like the far sides and the back of my head. Again, you can always get help doing this if it's your first time. Now is about when I get tired of parting my hair, so I pick up chunks of it and feel where the roots are and spread some bleach on it. This is the disorganized way to do it, but I like it because it's easier and faster and I try to do the root bleaching as quickly as I can so the bleach will be on all the parts of my hair for about the same amount of time. After making sure that you got everywhere, especially checking the back, then you can put your hair up into a bun and get it out of your way while you wait for the bleach to do its thing. Watch my other videos while you're waiting. It's a requirement. Once it's been on for long enough, grab your shampoo. I use Garnier Triple Nutrition. I start by rinsing out the bleach, then once it's mostly out, I lather up. I like using cold water because it's more soothing on my scalp since the bleach makes your scalp tingle and sometimes burn a bit. After washing, rinse your hair. My hair isn't light enough yet, so I'm gonna need to bleach it again. And sometimes between bleaching, I'll use conditioner like my Aussie 3 Minute Miracle one just to help restore a bit of moisture after the harsh chemicals and help my scalp feel better. I only use a small amount, and trust me, this is a small amount of conditioner for the amount of hair I have. Then I take a wide tooth comb to comb it out and put it into a ponytail. I let it dry with the conditioner in there for a while to give my scalp a break for a few hours and because I had lots of time that day. Otherwise, I would just blow dry it and start the second round of bleaching right away. This is my hair after it has dried for three to four hours. It's not completely dry, but that's okay. Time for round two. Add more bleach, more developer, mix it really well, and now we start the bleaching process all over again. I only left the bleach in my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes because it was burning too much and the color I was going for didn't need a perfectly white base, so it was okay. But if you're going for a pastel or a really light color, you need a white base, so you have to wait longer. And consider bleaching one or more days apart so it won't burn. After you're done, wash and rinse your hair again, but don't condition. This is what my roots came out looking like. They're not white, but they're a light enough blonde color that's good enough for the base for my turquoise color. Now you can put in your dye. I'm using my twisted teal and forget gloves, just put that junk straight on your hands. There's no harm done since these dyes are vegetable based so they won't burn or anything. You can leave it on your skin and on your hair for as long as you want and you'll be fine. This is the beautiful color it comes out looking like. So just use your hands and put that all over your roots and I covered all the green parts too. If you're doing this ombre to your whole head, then put this color about halfway down, then feather it down a slight bit further so it'll be easier to blend in with the darker blue. Keep adding dye as necessary and cover everywhere as best you can. Yo, where did my face go? Oh, there I am. <laughs> so keep adding this color to your roots and blending it downward. Since I already had the dark blue in, I just blended it down so it would fade nicely into it. But if you're doing this all in one step, you just blend it downward and then add the dark blue after and blend them together in the middle. Massage it into your roots to make sure that you got everywhere. When you're done, put your hair in a bun to get it out of your way. Like my blue hands? And that little blue dot on my face? <laughs> Leave the dye in for however long you want since it won't damage your hair. I recommend an hour or longer, and then wash it out. Make sure you make the most magnificent towers you can with your hair. This step is important. Then rinse it out. Notice that the dye changed my nail color. What a jerk. Use conditioner and spread it out in your hair. 
You need to always use lots of conditioner since your hair is bleached, and girl, that means your hair is thirsty, so quench that thirst. Don't forget to dance in the shower. Life's too short not to dance in the shower. Bonus points to anyone who knows what song I'm singing. Alright, now put in the conditioner. This last part is just how I do my hair, but part it in the shower because you have to do that with curly hair. Then comb it out with a really wide tooth comb. So this is what my hair looks like when wet, with the greenish bluish teal fading down to the darker blue. I put in a ponytail after that and squeezed out the extra conditioner and water. And now you're done. So that's all you have to do to ombre your hair like I did. And if you like this video, please show me by pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel for more hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, that kind of thing. And if you thought this video was interesting, I have a video on my vlog channel about the truth about hair dye. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll have a link right here and you can go click on that video right now and I'll have a link in the description box. And if you want to know anything more about the products that I used in this video, check out my blog and I'll have links to all of the products and I'll have pictures of before and after. So if you're interested in any of that, please check that out and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Kisses!